of Nani. 905 reporter Lucy Lopez shows you the 18 year old from Richmond Hill was all set to start work when she ran into a hairy situation. Canada's Wonderland boasts it has the best roller coasters and wildest rides in the country. The park opens on Sunday, but Jessica Devnani feels she's already had enough ups and downs to last her the summer. They told me you can either get rid of your hair and work for us or you can resign. And uh, we argued for a bit back and forth because I was kind of upset that they didn't tell me this during the interview when they saw me, right? Wonderland told her the dreadlocks she's worn for two years had to go. Canada's Wonderland declined an on-camera interview with us. In a telephone interview, a spokesperson did tell us they make it very clear to all job applicants how they're expected to look on the job, and they referred us to the jobs page on their website. A site the 18-year-old Ryerson student has been studying carefully. Anyone who wants to work at Wonderland can find out what's required of them right here. Wonderland's dress code puts hair at the top of its list of appearance standards. Extreme hairstyles are not permitted, but extreme is not defined, and dreadlocks are not mentioned. I'd want them to be more clear about what, uh, like they say in their appearance standards, no extreme hairstyles, but uh, I don't really think dreads are that extreme. When you think extreme, you think of like a mohawk up to here, or pink hair or something. In the past, Devnani has worked at LaserQuest and the Air Canada Centre. I've never really faced uh, discrimination or anything uh, before. We showed Devnani's here. picture to people right across the street from Canada's Wonderland. That's discrimination. It's hard enough to find a job, let alone now yeah. be discriminated on how yeah. you look. I think they're being too picky. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. <laughs> she should work there. Wonderland told us today that it doesn't mention dreadlocks in its dress code. Why? Because they can't under Ontario's human rights legislation. Wonderland's dress code does allow religious exceptions. That means Rastafarians can work at Wonderland without having to cut their dreads. Now, in case you're wondering, this story does have a happy ending. Jessica Devnani has secured another job at Ryerson University where she's a student. One she thinks is better than the Wonderland job she walked away from. Aaron? All right. Thanks a lot, Lucy. Lucy Lopez live in our 905 newsroom tonight.